this is uh, Brochi's run. degrees 12.5 volts 1.3 mile per hour that's my traveling speed you can see a lot of fish <laughs> 46 degrees to the water temperature and the, uh, the air temperature is even lower than the water temperature right now oh there is a beach six feet Another one, seven, nine, six. It's a couple up here. Big one there. Let me take a screenshot. Okay. Extreme marine element is not uh, oh. It's not a. Uh, And uh, show you what, what features there are. So this is the traditional sonar screen. There is eight waypoints, adjust sensitivities, and you can see you can adjust the sensitivity. But remember, it's not touch screen. You need to use the rocker panel to go down like that. You know, and then go back up, and then uh. Yeah, the plane is uh, taking off. It's a little bit something there, four feet. And uh, the, right now, I'm, there are only four data allowed in the screen. I wish there's, a, you know, there's more so I can display the GPS position. Because um, sometimes I. Uh, fish there you just do at press this setting and then at waypoint and then you can see um, you can move the cursor to whether it's fish or whether it's a cliff cliff um, you know and um, and so forth so you know let's do that at waypoints again so this is a fish and this is uh, the cliff you know so that's a cliff Uh, and then uh, let's go. There's the uh, sonar down vision, side vision, real vision. In the sonar, there's no hyper vision, so you know. So if we move. Um, let's say we want to go to the uh, side vision here. Or, uh, let's say we go to the down vision here. So this is the down vision. You move your cursor here. And then you uh, press OK. Now we got the down. Okay, we got the down vision. And uh, now we get that. And uh, let's see what we uh, can play with this. And you can see you can add waypoint. You can uh, adjust sensitivity. You can do the Yoto range. And there is the frequency. So. Press OK. Um, then it changes to uh, standard uh, 350 hertz. You want it to be uh, hypervision again? Just press OK again, and then it changes to hypervision. So basically, the OK button when you're on top of highlighting this uh, frequency, then you're you know toggling between the traditional. Vision. And then if you want to switch to side vision, how you switch in the Raymarine element between the 350 hertz and the hypervision. 
Um, so right now I'm in the hyper vision, hyper uh, vision mode, and you can see the app. Um, there's the chart. Let's go to. So I'm at the fish finder here, and there's a right there. There's a down vision. Chart. Let's go to the chart. You know, so one of the things that's pretty nice is um, this is Lighthouse Institute uh, digital map and chart. And uh, one of the nice thing about this is, um, as you can see, you know, so Gravely Point is over here. Those are the tracks I did before to Georgetown and, um, you know, and so forth. And right now, this is the Gravely, Bo Gravely Point. I'm in the, uh, this little fishing ground here. So um, that's how you have this thing. And uh, let's see, chart. So you can go um, to places. You can have new uh, waypoints, and you can track um, routes and track. Okay, and then you can do you know all the tracking and stuff. Um, you know, basically, you just go there and uh, start track. You move your cursor down to here. See that? Um, you do the start track. The more tracking you have, the more time the GPS is going to uh, route through all these tracks to start up the GPS. I wouldn't um, start a tracking unless you just start a trip and it's a long trip, maybe 15 miles, maybe over 10 miles and 20 miles and then maybe you want to track you soon. Um, it's just uh, the GPS is going to be very slow when it first start up. So I'm going to delete all my tracking. All right. So there's the delete all. I'm going to delete all the tracking. Um, are you sure? Yes. So this way, um, when I first start up my GPS, it's going to be very fast. You know. So that's the coordinates. Um, and I'm, I have a 12.5 volts of uh, batteries uh, right now, and that's the radar, so I can use the radar. There's this uh, fish finder, there's the side finder, there's down vision, and there's the settings, there's the routes to track point. Uh, 2.40 p.m., and that's the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth. Um, they're not functioning right now, so there's no apps like the Ray Marine Axiom uh, fish finder where you can listen to uh, Spotify music or listen to music on Spotify or watch YouTube or uh, watch Netflix uh, movies. So the element doesn't have all that, but it will be built soon. So, you know, just uh, uh, be patient and uh, the price will go up, of course, as uh, Ray Marine built more features for this uh, great uh, fish finder. So um, you want to, if you want to buy, you know, uh, buy early. Uh, there's the 3D uh, right here. Okay, so I'm going into 3D right now. And uh, remember, this is not a touch screen. So um, you really have to use the rocker panel to kind of, uh, you know, turn the um, angle of of the 3D uh, that you're viewing. And you can see, you can zoom in, like uh, using the plus key, zoom out using the minus key. The 3D is really nice, I can tell you that. I mean, the 3D is just so nice, you know. Because you can clearly see the uh, lake button, as you can see here. Um, you know, so pretty, pretty flat. And, uh, you know, and uh, you can, And then curve to the left, and right now it's down there. Um, so we can zoom in for you to see those blue dots better, you know. So you can see those blue dots, there's some fish there, you know. Um, you can see the contour, you see those blue dots floating above the bottom, you know. So this is uh, 
the three D is really nice. I really like it. Um, so this is the Ray Marine animal. Uh, spinning I'm not doing anything okay so let's just try to stop it yep and then uh, I guess when you keep holding this thing it's just gonna spin this 3d for you nope maybe this guy nope I don't know why it's doing that but there are a lot of fish uh, right now and uh, probably we should uh, star fishing soon but anyway as you can see this is very nice I'm at 8.7 feet to 43 p.m. Uh, it's a uh, one mile per hour so it's pretty uh, all the fish you know you can see they're mostly hanging to the bottom right now because it's really cold temperature is only 46 degrees oh yeah I want to change that 350 yeah, that's why I uh, don't have the depth anymore my transducer is clearly down there um, so I'm gonna try to fix uh, the data change this 351 degrees true uh, Norris, I'm going to change it to uh, the depths. So, going to go down to uh, that settings. I'm going to go to data boxes. There's the data boxes. So, I'm going to, uh, the first is depths that I want, uh, time I want. Uh, I don't want that course made good and stuff. I'm gonna change it to something else. So I'm gonna, I just hit in, uh, OK. And then I'm gonna hit OK, edit. I'm gonna choose the, um, I think I have water temperature, but I want depths. I think I have depths. Um, all right, that's annoying. Let's get out of here. I have the depths, I have the time. I have the speed over ground. I need the water temperature. That's what I need. So I'm going to add it. Or I can have the GPS, but you can only have four. So I'm going to have my uh, water temperature there. Okay, so now I can get out. Um, go back to 3D. And now you can see I have the 49.5 degrees. It's a lot warmer by the... When I first came out, it was 46 degrees, but it's a lot warmer when I get closer to um, to the uh, warm water discharge. And you can see I'm slowly, so uh, the water is about uh, 9 feet, so and you can see this 3D is very nice. Uh, use the rocker panel to turn this around, you know. Uh, turn your view and then press and minus to or zoom out. You see that? Zoom in is plus. Okay, so there you have it. As you can see, the water temperature uh, gets up to 50 now. It was uh, 46, so I'm going to start fishing and uh, wish me luck. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch some more uh, bass or snake eggs. They're all gathered, they all gather towards um, here because, okay, so we're going to try to get back to the, um, the, the, the traditional sonar or the fish finder. There we go. There's, and I'm at, uh, I'm using the mega and I think I want to change the sensitivity to just 350 hertz. Oh, nope. I don't want to change that. I want to change this to 350 hertz. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's, uh... Okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to start catching fish. 
back uh, and catch a fish.